Hi there, Stacey, it's Matt. Now, I actually just did a quick demo test in the background and I know what the problem is here. Um, just a quick point to note is that when you import products using Magme, the thing to remember is that Magme is known and proven to work. So it's always gonna be a header which is wrong, a name's gonna be wrong, or the data which is gonna be incorrect. It's gonna be one of those things. Okay, so we, we know that Magme works. So the thing which I've actually been identified is that you've actually been spelled category incorrectly. So you'll notice up here, it's, you've got category ID, which should be category IDs. And the thing to remember is we can't make up uh, our own columns for Magme unless they really do mean something back in Magento or for one of the existing plugins. So that should actually be category underscore IDs okay uh, and then categories here needs an e in it just here uh, and categories ids that that's just a made up one okay it has to be one of the magento or M uh, magmi column headers for this to work it won't uh, otherwise you need to use like a, a value mapper one and again i'm not going to cover that with you because it gets a bit deep very very quickly so Proof of concept, I know this works. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll up and I'm gonna go and download your test file. Let's go and open that up in uh, Excel. So let me just maximize that on my screen for you. And all I'm doing is just moving, uh, just making these columns a little bit wider. Now, just for personal preference, I am gonna take that skew column and put it into column A. Okay, just good practice there is that if you always put the stock number first, you know which products you're working with, okay? Now, if we focus on this column here, so I'm just gonna color it green up here. So category IDs, now that number one, if you'd spelt that category like so, and then put the numbers, the IDs of categories, so let me just explain what that is, is that if I go into Magento, manage categories, and we go and choose a category called underwear, for example, and then we put 24 in there, and if we've got a subcategory, briefs, uh, so 24 and 25, is that back in our CSV file, if we typed in 24 comma 25, like so, then that would have worked. It would have, would have been to put it in the underwear and in the briefs category. Now, that's not actually what we want to happen. We actually want to use names. So for if you rename your column for category IDs to categories, spelt like so, so C-A-T-E-G-O-R-I-E-S, okay? And this is where you can address the categories by name. Now, I am removing the hyphens because I did actually copy that off your website. So we, you can have spaces in here. Now, we are using the forward slash as the separator. So Magme is now going to create, if it again, if it doesn't already exist, a category called pretend play. And then below there, it's going to create a category called Sylvanian families. And then it's going to create another category called families. Now, if we just, I'll tell you what, let's just capitalize these as you really would do on your website, like so. So I'm going to change that onto S. And apologies for the typing noise in the background, like so. There we go, there's our category set. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna save that on my desktop, like so, if I can find my desktop, wherever it is, there, and rename this example, like so. So that's now been saved on my desktop, out of the way. Now, I've just jumped across to Magme, and I'm just gonna scroll down, and I'm gonna click on the configure link here to point out for on the fly category importer. Now, you've got this setting here called tree level separator. Now, th th this is like a personal preference is that if you would find a greater than symbol easier to understand. So maybe back in here that you would find a greater symbol like that easier to understand the separation between the categories, then do that. But remember to save the settings back in Magme. Okay, so I'm just gonna undo that. Oh, I'm not just gonna save that file. The other thing is as well, is that a cool setting in here is that assign products to and then choose all categories in trees. So that means it's, it's gonna put it into pretend play, into Sylvanian families, and into families at the bottom. And the other thing to remember here is that if all of those categories exist, then Magme is just gonna put it in those products into those categories for you. So with that said, 
I'm not going to change those settings, so I'm just going to reload that page, so they're all back to defaults. Now, I do need to upload that file in the background, so let me just move that out of the way, and let me just upload that to the website, which I've just been done. It's going to reload the page as well, and just to make a point, the, none of those categories appear in here, and if I go into manage uh, products, the, the next product should be 1208 or 9, something like that as well so let's go and import this in here so we need to choose that file so i'm going to press save profile and then run mag me with profile default uh, create new items and update existing ones go and click import now i am expecting errors okay it's going to be uh, because you've got images in there which don't exist in our in in our hosting they're going to happen so yeah there we go we've got some image errors but if we now go back to magento and then go and hit search is that there we go we've got a brand new product which has been and appeared in our system and let's go down to categories because that's what we're most interested in ah look there we go pretend play sylvanian families and families and it's been and put it into all those categories for us and if we go into catalog and manage categories what we'll also find is that it's now been and created those categories for us as well and of course if we wanted to change the url we could do whether they're active inactive and so on and so forth so stacy i hope that's been and helped you going back to your original question the the actual calls to this is the header names you can't make up your own ones you've got to use the ones which are right for magme so what that means is that you can use category uh, underscore ids with an e in it okay you can also use categories as well now the the for the uh, extension for the plugin for Magme that needs the one the header called categories. So let me just bring that back onto my screen a moment. Is that it's got to be that header there? It needs to be typed exactly the same as that. So C A T E G O R I E S, and then you can put your paths in there like so now or while you're watching this i might also point out something else which you can do while you're at it is that if you go back to the configuration settings for this one again because i can't remember it off the top of my head okay so i've had actually I just needed to go and check the documentation in the background so you get this right now if you are unsure on any of the headers literally just google mag me you'll get across to the sourceforge website and you can look at the settings for the on the fly category stroke importer and you'll see all the the columns name names which you need in there now if you wanted to do multiple categories importing at the same time is that we would use two semicolons like that okay so let me just type in this top box up here so if you also wanted to create a category called stacy and then a subfolder called matt and then a sub uh, category on our website called dave that's how you you would do it and again if you want to add more then let's do another category called uh, families like so and i believe uh, beneath there we could have uh, toys that's how you can specify multiple categories for a single product on an import and it's the double semicolon in there so stacy i hope that's been and helped you and i'll catch you in the forums cheerios so we hope you've been and found this video guide useful and myself matt and me dave we believe that to use magento you don't need a degree in nerd and that's what we've exactly what we've been and done. We've been and created you over 70 full HD video guides on how to use Magento, all in plain English. And if you'd like to know more about myself, Matt, or me, Dave, and more about what we're doing at Understanding E, why not visit us at understandinge.com forward slash now. And we'll see you there. And for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you soon.